In this video, I'm going to be trying out Japan Airlines in their world's best economy class. My flight this evening takes me on an 8,000 km journey from Tokyo to Melbourne. And it all begins right here at Tokyo's Narita Airport. Japan Airlines operates out of Terminal 2 here in Narita, which is one of three terminals at this airport. I can't speak too much about my check-in experience here, as I'm just doing an international transit. But all I can say is that the luggage allowance is a generous 46 kgs. This is such a nice corridor to walk through because you can look to the left and see the whole left from of Terminal 2. With some time still left for boarding, I check out some of the local shops before heading to the lodge. Yes, that's right, Japan Airlines is one of the very few airlines that provides its economy flex passengers with lounge access. Here at Narita Airport, the lounge provided is the Sakura Lounge, which is spacious and spread across two levels. If you're on the lookout for some amazing Japanese food, you would want to head up to the upper level, where you will find the dining. The dining has a menu offering a range of dishes that are readily prepared and served. Being in Japan, I went for the classic bento box that I enjoyed amidst the backdrop of some plain spotting. This upstairs section of the lounge tends to get a bit busy, so if you're looking for somewhere quiet, you could possibly head down to the lower level. This is also where you would find the shower facilities of this lodge. Please note that they can get extremely busy, so perhaps book this first before going out to get food. This level is more geared towards light snacks, but you will still find a selection of drinks including Japanese sake on tap. Alright, it's time to go and catch this flight. It's a Japan Airlines 787 Economy Class. Actually, Japan Airlines recently won the award for the best economy class, so they must be pretty good. I reached gate 75 where my flight had already commenced boarding. And this will be our aircraft for today, a 9-year-old Boeing 787-8. Japan Airlines has a total of 24 of these in their fleet. The international ones are configured in two cabin classes. There are 30 seats in business and 156 in economy. In economy, the seats are in a 242 layout and I went for seat 46K. Hello. Thank you. Thank you. The trend defying 8 across layout on a 787 8 is exclusive to JAL and makes its cabin feel a lot more roomy. The space for overhead storage in this cabin was huge. The seats were one of the most comfortable I've experienced in economy class and feature a digital headdress. In front, there was a 10.6 inch HD touchscreen and a coat hook. The entertainment screen also had a USB charging port. The tray table located on the seat back was the fold out type. Down below, there were two small pockets and a larger seat pocket. This is where I found the headphones which were part of the amenities along with the pillow and a blanket.
The larger seat pocket contained the safety card for the 787 as well as the in-flight magazine. I must say that I found the animated safety video of Japan Airlines quite entertaining. After what felt like a very long taxi and some plane spotting, we were soon on runway 16 right for our takeoff to Melbourne. Almost immediately after takeoff, the first drink service was offered. I went for the JAL original Skytime drink, and I highly recommend this refreshing non alcoholic option. I then sat back to check out the entertainment screen. The touchscreen itself was quite responsive, but I found the layout of the system to be quite cumbersome to navigate. The movie selection was also very limited. On the connectivity side, Japan Airlines offers a paid service for Wi-Fi and it costs $19 for 24 hours. The speed wasn't blazing, but it was okay to use. Next it was time for the dinner service. The menus were in cardboard and presented to us at the time. There were two options provided in the menu and I went for the chicken which was served with several small dishes on the side. The food was generally good, although I found the mains to be on the lighter side. There was also Hagen Das ice cream in the menu, but I skipped that to save some calories. After the meal service, the cabin was promptly dimmed and I made a quick tour to one of the three toilets in the economy class cabin. I found the toilets to be very clean and they also featured the Japanese bidet system. A few hours later. I highly recommend carrying an eye mask on overnight flights. I was having the best sleep on an overnight economy flight, but was woken up by the cabin lights. They came on with more than two hours to go for the pre-arrival service. I decided to skip the meal, but couldn't say no to the Skytime drink for one last time. As we began our approach into Melbourne, I looked back at this flight and wondered if it lived up to its number one rating. The seats and the lounge access, along with the timely service, gives Jal a big tick over other airlines. Yes, the entertainment system requires an upgrade and the meal service can be subjective. However, with the amount of room on offer in economy class and the quality of sleep I managed to get, I would highly recommend flying Japan Airlines economy class. But is it really number one? Well, I'll leave that up to you to decide. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. I got the numbers. Japan Airlines Economy Class. What did you think? Let me know in the comments below.
Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope you found it interesting and useful. Make sure to subscribe to the channel for more travel adventures.